keep it secret, it's different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about the top five replica guard builds on NBA 2K23, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe, and we'll put you a noted game for my daily double uploads. But now let's hop straight into this video. Okay, so we're talking about top guard builds replica builds at that so keep in mind a couple key points i want to talk about before we get into the video the meta is either going to be a 6-9 guard or a 6-1 guard okay well there is no 6-9 replica guard build so that's out right there isn't really a lot of 6-1 um replica guard builds but there's a lot that's in between so you're not able to make god tier okay so when you're looking on the smaller side of a guard the smaller side of the guards, you're not worrying about defense as much, obviously, because you're short, right? So you focus more so on your playmaking and your shooting, really. And then on top of that, if you can get the finishing, that's great, okay? So keep that in mind. The, the How I depicted what is the best replica guard build was based upon the height and what the meta is currently. 6-1 guards or more so offense. There's not a lot of defense. If it was a 6-9 guard, then of course you would. It makes no sense to have a lot of defense on a 6-1, 6-2, 6-3, 6-4 guard when you're going up against 6-9s anyway in the park, okay? So you want to keep that in mind while you're doing this. But now without further ado, let's hop into the first um, build. And it's going to be my man Jamal Murray, a.k.a. Blue Arrow, okay? So point guard, right-handed, number 27, okay? Um, we're going 6-4 with this, 203 pounds, 6-7 wingspan. Body shape can be any shape you want, but we're going to find, okay? The cool thing about him is that there's many ways you can make him, but I wanted to make him where I know what the what the meta is and what are the best badges. So I did go 93. For the longest, I was always going 85, but Fearless Finisher in the Hall of Fame is absolutely God tier, so I wanted to make sure I can get that for him. Also, of course, Zach Levine is still the best layup package in the game, so we want to get that at 80. And then we get 86 on the driving dunk. That is going to give you, of course, the limitless takeoff and posterizer on silver and gold, respectfully. Then he does have a really good post control. You see what he's doing right now in the NBA um, playoffs? He can he posts up a lot. And the good thing is this replica build is able to emulate that with a 70 post control with post venti nation on gold. Then he has a really solid 81 mid-range. And then, of course, you got to get as high as you can to a 92 on that three-point shot and then 80 on the free throw. So you do have 25 total badge points here. And that 92, will go, of course, will give you limitless range on gold and aging threes on gold, blinders on gold, dead eye on gold. I mean, the list goes on about what makes his build so dope. Right now, we're looking at 20 and 25. Then you go here, 89 on the, on the ball handle. All right, it would be nice to be able to have a um, uh, 92, but we're not able to do that. And then we're going to go 76 on the pass accuracy. Very important there. And, of course, the standard 75 for the Michael Jordan dribble style. So you do have 19 total when it comes here. You do get quick first step Hall of Fame. And, of course, the clamp breaker on gold. Now, again, defense is not going to be much here, right? 66. And, again, like I said, for the most of these builds at 6'4", the expectation is not to have the God tier type defense. You really want to have all the shooting you possibly can. You do want to make sure you rock out with your um your your guard your, your your two and your your center needs to have some really good defense to be able to hold it down 75 speed is that where you need to go remember 75 to 99 there is no difference so the good thing is 75 speed is perfect you want to go 84 with your acceleration yes it would be nice to try to go 90 but again you talk about a replica build there's only so much you can do and i want to make sure i can hit some tiers so to be able to have a 46 is not going to be the end of the world okay then you want to do with your vert. You want to go 85 with your vert. Again, reason why you want to go 85 with your vert is because you want to be able to get the small con um, um, contact dunks, okay? So you do get the normal ones, but the 85, you have to have 85 vert to be able to get those, those small um, con guard dunk packages. And then 90 on the stamina, so 20, 25, 19, and 5. 
And then of course you get slashing, shot creating, sharp, and playmaking takeovers. I went easy, blow, blast, and limitless. That's just kind of like the go-to there, but it's really your preference. And then of course, here you have it, my nephews and nieces. Again, like I said, you're gonna see the theme of a lot of these builds are kind of similar, right? Because you know they are gonna be very, very impactful. I will also point out, right, as you see right here, as we go with the blue arrow, I will also point out we're not going to be looking at builds that can't at least get quick drops all right so that's another thing to think about if they can't get quick drops i'm not making it because if they can't get quick drops or dunk a lot of people are going to be like well it can't dunk so i don't want it so keep that in mind also but anyway this is build number one so now let's head over to build number two all right so next we have up right now is going to be colin saxon aka young bull now this one right here is absolutely a really really good build and again this is not going any particular order right so i'm not trying to go five to one or one to five it's just hey it's just five of them it's not in any order okay um but it is a point he is point guard he's right-handed he's number two okay um again with the height we're going six two 193 with the six seven wingspan excuse me body shape i'm um shape shape i'm going to find okay um, again, we're going to still hit these same numbers, man. A 93 with the close shot for that fearless finisher on Hall of Fame. We're also going to go 80 on the driving layup for the Zach Levine layup package. And then we're going to go 80 on the driving dunk, again, for the quick drop. So this build is going to be the only build in, in all this that's not going to be able to get contact dunks. But quick drops is still very viable in this game. You don't have to have contact dunks to be very successful. All right. But this build is probably the most balanced and well-rounded. It does have an 85 mid-range shot. And the reason is because, you know, he is like the lowest rated player on this list. Okay, so you more the lower you are overall, the better you can make the build. He's a 92 on a three-point shot, so that does give you limitless on gold. And again, a lot of guards want to have that 92 three-ball. And then also, he has his free throw at an 82. So the finishing and, and, play, and shooting is going to be absolutely insane. And then the playmaking is too. So he's going to have the highest pass accuracy of everybody. He's also going to have the 92 on um, ball handle again very important quick first step hall of fame hyper drive hall of fame and then you also gonna get the 79 speed with ball so again both of these tiers 21 27 24 is what you're looking at is insane 37 interior again 70 on the perimeter defense is not going to be anything crazy here but again at the same time this is kind of what the meta is when it comes to smaller guard builds you're going to have that and then again you only have six there but he also will have the 80 speed and he will also have the 90 acceleration, which a lot of guards look for. OK, so he does have pretty much again, as I said, outside the fact that he was he is not getting contact dunks. It is pretty solid all around 21, 27, 24 and six. Anything and everything you want to do with a build, you can definitely do outside of the fact that it's a small build and it's not going to have any defense. Right. Other than some decent perimeter. OK, but regardless, I think this is one of my favorite builds. I made this one and I like it a lot easy blow buys you got slashing shot creating sharp and playmaking but you know like the combination can always be this right here and you can be pretty toxic with it flip it around go double limitless if you wanted to i know some people like to go the limitless range and then also pull up precision so you could go that route also but regardless it's very toxic build very fun build and enjoyable build if you haven't made something like this you definitely should all five of these builds are going to be really fun to, to play with the names are going to be dope but also at the same time they're going to have the same dominance of the offensive side of the ball okay so young bull right there right so now again we you know the first two let's head over and look at this third build right now all right so now we're looking at build number three and build number three is going to be my man baron davis aka b diddy all right now this is going to be the first one and only one that's going to have some defense this one has been always been one of the top replica builds in the game for a lot of reasons there is some certain things that it's like dang i wish it could be better but at the same time it's pretty much a dominant build and it's going to be the most balanced build you're going to see within these um top five replica builds okay six three one ninety five six eight wingspan body shape defined but again you can pick any body shape for these builds 85 close shots so as you can see you can't get to that 93 so you're gonna have gold fearless finisher right you have to go all the way up to an 85 driving layup the good thing is, is that you will be able to get acrobat on gold but a lot of people don't really care about that it's really going to be the hall of fame giant slayer um, with the gold fearless finisher was really going to set it off you do get an 86 on the driving dunk but you're only able to get an 81 vert so you're not even able to get the small contact dunks you are able to get the pro contact dunk dunks though with an 81 but again that's something different because all the other ones do have an 85 and are able to get unlock those smaller um guard contact dunks but again you also get the 82 on um, mid-range shot you get the 86 three ball um like you said you don't get the 92 you get the 86 but you have to understand since you got to put so much in defense yes the all uh, the finishing and shooting is going to take a slight hit 
compared to the other guard builds, all right? But you also get an 80 pass accuracy. Um, you get the 89 um, ball handle, so you don't get that, nine, that, that um, 92, but you still get a solid um, 89. You also get the 82 speed with balls, so you have 21, 23, 23 already, which is insane to think about. But again, like I said, when it comes to overall, this is going to be toxic. 86 perimeter defense that will give you the clamps, and of course, 88 on the steel, and that will give you the gloves. So as you see here, you're able to get clamps and gloves, you get minutes on gold. There's so much about this build for when it comes to the balance standpoints that make it a solid build all around. I know some people that play guard, they don't care about defense, right? So they don't, they want to focus on their finishing shooting playmaking or more so just shooting playmaking. But there, this right here can be a solid park build. You are still short. So again, it's going to be still challenging going against these, these demigod 6'9s. So again, you know, it's really cost and effect of what is the best lineup that you have with your teammates and if this is something that can be effective for you in the long haul. But regardless, 80 speed, 85 acceleration. We just spoke on that. You're only able to get an 81 vert. You can't get to 85. And again, he's the high, He's going to be one of the higher rated players. So it's going to be hard to be able to get some of these little bit right here, like the 85 right here or the 90 acceleration, right? It'd be nice to have the 87 premium defense to get minutes on Hall of Fame. But I chose to go these routes on some of these bad points and others, okay? Slashing, again, I'm pretty much going to be the same thing. I love going here. But again, this can go any route that you want that you're um, comfortable with. And then, of course, here you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is build number three, Baron Davis, B. Diddy, a solid build all around, really fun build. And again, this is the one that's going to have mostly the defensive heavy side of the build. All right. There were some other ones that I could have picked, but they just didn't have enough offense. And we all know, man, people, they want offense, man. All right. So anyway, this is build number three. Now let's head over to build number four. All right, so now we're looking at build three. It's going to be my man, Damian Lillard. And, of course, it's going to be the Dame Dollar replica build name. Um, and this right here is going to be solid all the way around. There's a little bit, like I said, each build is going to be some differences that you're going to see and I'm going to talk about. But regardless, this is still going to be one of those meta builds that a lot of guards would be able to utilize with no issues. 6'2", 190, 6'7", wingspan. Um, 93 on the close shot again. Now, this is what makes it toxic. The combination of... You know, um, Giant Slayer and Fearless Finisher is going to be very lethal going to the basket. He is the one and only one that's going to give you Slithery Finisher on gold also. So keep that in mind. He also has the 86 driving dunk. So his finishing is absolutely complete. He has the Slithery on gold. He has Limitless Takeoff on gold. Hall of Fame Fearless Finisher. So basically everything that you look for, you'll be able to get. Um, top it off with 34 on your post control. You have 24 total bash points. He also has an insane 90 mid-range shot. And he has an 85 three ball, okay? So again, 90 mid-range, 85 three ball is a really good combination. I know some guards would prefer to have a 92. But again, this is what makes all these replica builds special and really good is because they kind of tailor to a lot of different people play styles. They know what they want, they know what they like, and they're able to get, okay? So now you're looking at 24, 25 here, 84 on the pass accuracy you're able to get 92 on the ball handle and then of course that 79 speed with ball so 24 25 24 is what you're looking at that is absolutely insane when you look at what it can do from the offensive standpoint you don't have to worry about interior defense you are going to go a 61 on the perimeter defense 50 on the steal then you will go 37 on your block 28 on your offensive rebound 48 on your defensive okay then you go 80 and 80 on your acceleration. Now, I will say this. The reason why I only have an 80 acceleration, you could go all the way up to 90 with this if you wanted to. But I'm okay with an 80 acceleration just because this build is such a slashing type build. And it's not necessarily trying to be hunting for fading threes. But that is really up to you. We do get the 85 vert. And if you wanted to get that, what you're going to have to do, right, is that you're going to have to lower your ball handle um you're gonna have to lower your driving layup your close shot there's a lot of things you could do to change that but i feel like this plays better so an 80 acceleration is not the end of the world trust me not with a build like this that can get to the rim with within the finishing that it has okay if you're a small guard and you can't get to the rim you gotta hunt for threes and yes that little bit of acceleration will matter but you do have quick first step on gold it can compensate a lot again easy blow buys and limitless range threes is what we're looking at but again you can see here you have a lot of options okay and then here you have it my nephews and nieces we got like i said man damian lillard is an absolute problem man and again the, the dollar replica build is pretty dope um 
you can't ask for anything better than that man like i said as we went through each build so far you can see the pros and cons in each one but all of them are really really good and playable okay um so now let's head to that fifth and final build all right, my nephews and nieces, now we're looking at build number five, and this is going to be Bradley Bills, a.k.a. Big Panda. Now, again, this is the first shooting guard build on, on that we have here for these replica builds, and again, it's going to fall kind of in line with all the other ones. There's going to be some really, really good sweet spots of this build. You want to go six feet, 200 pounds. You want to keep your wingspan at 6'9". Body shape, I went to fine, okay? Um, the same thing here. He's able to get that um, Hall of Fame through his finisher, which is dope. 87 on the driving layup. Again, so you can get that. Uh, you can't get the 89 for the slithery, but again, you're still able to get Zach Levine. He also gets the 86 driving dunk, 46 on the post control, okay? And then you want to go 86 on the mid range, and then you want to go 89 on the three point shot for agent, um, for better to get agent threes on gold, okay? You also have an 84 free throw, but right now you're looking at 20 and 26. Again, this build can shoot lights out. It doesn't have the 92 three ball, but it does have agent threes on gold at least all right then same here 74 on the pass accuracy and then you want to go ahead and go 89 on the ball handle and then of course 75 on the speed with ball okay so that's going to be really solid there and then when you look on the defensive side nothing really changes of course things are going to be really low here 58 on the perimeter defense 33 on the steal 48 on the block then you want to go 30 on your offensive rebound 41 on your defensive then you go 75 here 83 on your acceleration 54 on your strength 85 again on that vert so you can get those small contact dunks and then 90 okay so again yes there's other ways you could have made this again like i said you can drop your close shot down to 85 boost up your driving layup to 89 if you want to get slithery hall of fame you cannot go no higher than 89 on your three ball but if you wanted to get higher acceleration again drop your close shot and then you can be able to boost that up a little bit more but um and of course your vert you can drop your vert down and just to you know get like um this pro contact dunks instead of getting the small lead contact dunks so it's really your preference there but again the build is solid all the way around again easy blow buys with the limitless range threes is what i look at again you will have the shot creating sharp and playmaking takeovers so again they're really 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 solid all around with all the the um takeovers that are going to make this build go to another level but there you have it my nephews and nieces man these are the five top replica builds thus far i mean obviously we got a couple more seasons ahead of us maybe this will change but i will say this there was some honorable mentions and when i say honorable mentions what i mean is that like yeah there are builds that do not have driving dunk and some of y'all might want that but i know most of the community they're not going to want a build that cannot dunk but if you're okay with not having a build that can dunk three builds are really really solid that's going to be trey young that's going to be steph curry and of course that's going to be chris paul those are the small guard builds they are really good chris paul has really good defense almost like how b diddy is um again it's really your, up to you and your preference on that but anyway let me know in the comment section what you think about these five here is there builds that i left out that you think were worthy of being a top guard replica build but other than that this is your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon with another banger man and you know when i say back to another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out